thank you for listening and welcome to the Life Podcast, a proud member of the Eventide Entertainment Podcast Network. I'm your host, Don Smith. Comedian Scotty Mays joins me in the studio to welcome the show back from break. Later on, newcomer Joey Tussie joins in, but didn't bring my pizza. If you enjoy the show, like and follow The Life 1069 on Facebook and Don Smith Comedy on Twitter, or tune in live on Wednesdays from noon to 2 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM, or you can stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. The brutal presence overwhelms me. Hey, it sometimes works when you actually have the uh, the right program installed to play the song you want to play. Uh, it is. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you what day it is because uh, you already know. But it's it's noonish and it's time for the Life Radio Show with your host Don Smith. If you couldn't tell by the the weird interruption before our uh, intro song. <laughs> See, and there's there's our uh, our programming director is all confused now too, and the GM's coming in to check. Oh, his arms are crossed. Yeah, we we are in trouble. Scott. There is a lot of concern. <laughs> I don't, going I don't on know out what there. we did, but we must have broke something. It must have been the hacky sack it, reference. It, yeah, it was the hacky sack reference. We actually told him we were, uh, weren't going to do the show. We were going to go play hacky. You look like a hacky sack player. I actually. used to. Uh, hey, I was known to uh, hack. Hack a little. Sack no, I'm just now. a hack on stage. <laughs> yep. yep, you were known to hack a sack <laughs> yep, back in the day. You know it. You know, so was I, and I lost a lot of pairs of pants playing yeah. hacky sack. Yeah, because I was always the idiot that tried to go for the impossible shot. Well, you know, that's what the baggy corduroy. Was yeah, I know, for. I know, and I never liked those. I wore I wore jeans, and they were usually pretty tight. Yeah. So yeah. I, tight in fact, jeans in and fact, hacking. one time I tried to get uh, I tried to kick way up high, and I actually managed to kick it. But my jeans were too tight, and it pulled my other leg out from under me, and I landed on my head. Mm, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> was, you, you cannot a do a day. proper stall in uh, skinny jeans. No, no, you, you can't do really anything, anything, anything hacky yeah. sack related. Right? You need right. it's it's yeah. kind of like martial arts, only not nearly as cool. Or right. useful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can kick a little ball, but anyway, <laughs> uh, well, no, a little sack. A little it's sack. not even a ball; it's a little sack full of little balls. Yeah, yeah, it's a. Nobody cares. No. We've just lost no, any I'm listener we could have possibly sure everybody's had. like, what is this? Because all your rant. friends were listening, and now not only are they not listening, you don't have friends anymore. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> it's, it's just me and you now. It's a rent-to-own kind of thing. So. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what's been going on? It's a new year. It's a new chance for uh, people to not listen to our show. Right, yeah. Hey, so, it's, a, it's yeah. another year of firsts. Uh, uh, yeah. You know, if... Uh, if last year is any, any indication of what this year could could bring, then I have no idea what to tell you because last year was pretty awesome. Last year, I was extremely busy last year, but I will tell you, I started out the beginning of the year uh, banned from Wiley's Comedy Club. I was not allowed to perform there, and now I'm part owner of Wiley's yeah. Comedy Club. 2017 was a real roller coaster yeah. of a year. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> It, it, it's funny how karma works though it, that's all weird. i have to it's, say yeah, yeah. It's, it's weird it and now i'm actually forging a decent relationship with the folks that banned me because they're helping us book the show now. Hey, hey, big things are in store for wiley's comedy club i i hope so i hope so. you can feel yeah, it yeah, that's good that's good i i i really i really hope things start to start to get back to uh its former glory yeah, I, I think it will wiley's be. i think it, will. It, it it was and it is a fantastic club it's yeah. just well, we're going to continue to have yeah. uh, breakdancing fundraisers to save the community center um, that is called Wiley's Comedy Club. Oh, we're so, at the community yeah. center now. Have you ever seen Break Into? Uh, yes, yes. It, yeah. <laughs> so we are. Wiley's is now a community center, which is good because we can be tax exempt. Yeah, there you which go. Which is really, there the only go. problem is we're not for profit, which we're pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we weren't for profit last year. Yeah. Uh, speaking <laughs> Unintentionally. Of, speaking of fundraisers, I'm going to go ahead and start throwing this out there now. February 15th. A Valentine's date for a cause Ooh, is, like is going to be at Wiley's Comedy Club. That's going to be the first show I booked. I've hand selected the finest comics in the Dayton area to to run this show. It's going to be a headline by Nate Washington. The uh, feature is going to be Jack Leg, uh, Mike Canastero, and Adrian Miller are also going to have part on the show, and it's going to be hosted by the wonderful Karen Jaffe. Ooh, so, so yes, um, it is an all star lineup. This sounds amazing, but my ego is telling me that you did not pick. 
the the handpicked the finest comics because well um, I couldn't fit all of them. I could there there was not room for a sixth on this show. Okay, maybe and next well, it's year. A, <laughs> it's it's a fundraiser for the <laughs> for uh, Wright State's chapter of the Sigma Tau Delta. Uh, <laughs> Are these all alums? Ang- English Honor Society. Oh, so you have to know proper English. So yeah, and, and uh, you're a great comic. I didn't know if you'd be a fit there. <laughs> yeah, because I don't you have proper English. Which you probably would actually. Yeah, but you know, I, well, um, I'll get you. I'll get I you because if... I'm actually I'm thinking about starting like a monthly uh, Thursday show. I'm gonna because I'm Ooh, trying to get be, one set yeah. up for March fifteenth. Remember and, the the uh, secret show they used to do on the, Thursday yeah, the, night? Yeah, the too. secret show on that Thursday was nights. A super secret. Yeah, yeah. I, I never made it to one of those. Well, it was a second secret, shift. So was, well, yeah, I knew a lot of people it. knew about it. I knew about you it. You did know it about was, it. Yeah, I did know about it. But sec- <laughs> second shift uh, kills a comedy career. Yeah, just altogether. Yeah. So you know, there's there's that. But I am going to try to get back up on stage January 21st. I'm going to be up at Wiley Sunday Comics. Yeah. My first time. Uh, my first time doing a set since probably like september i think welcome so back been sir it's been yeah it has been it has been a while yeah I, t- I took a page out of your book and said i was quitting comedy but i never told it you know so. I'll, i will never utter those words again <laughs> i i have not lived that down since <laughs> since i've said that and uh you know it's all in fun you have to have thick skin in this uh particular oh, abso- type of dream crushing uh field. i have well, i have pretty thick skin and and body fat so i'm good yeah, well you're I'm, just tall on the sides yeah i'm like a rhino you just can't you know nothing can yeah. pierce yeah. <laughs> nothing can pierce this hide <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway uh we were talking a little bit before the show like you said we were going to burn up all of our talking points before we actually started the broadcast but we were talking before the show uh this is actually uh our, my three-year anniversary here uh-huh. at the wwsu i i believe i started my show my, the first ever broadcast of the Life Radio Show was on January 9th, 2015. That is awesome. So here it is, January 10th, 2018, with none other than Scotty Mays. Happy anniversary, so, yeah. Don. Hey, thanks, thanks. I feel I feel a year older. That's pretty much all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have an anniversary coming up as well on Saturday. It'll be uh, two years in sobriety for me. Awesome. Well, yeah. congratulations to you. That, thanks, that's man. Two years, two years sober uh, definitely trumps three years on the air. <laughs> uh, that's uh, you were. I, I'd love, I'd love to have. I never used to record my old shows because I didn't do it as a podcast. Too, I'd love to listen to some of those and just me fumbling around and the nervous as can be, and yeah. Yeah, listen to the evolution of it. Yeah, because I remember the first show I did. I think uh, Aaron Evans, who was at one time oh, yeah. general manager yeah. of Wiley's, he was my first guest ever on the radio show. We got here. I didn't have the codes to get in the door. Nobody was here. It was 8 o'clock in the morning because it used to be on Tuesdays. Tuesdays, 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, <laughs> Holly keeps sending me messages over the <laughs> over the. Hi, Holly. How's it? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll have to come on here soon. But you were on the, uh, the 100th episode, so Scotty gets the anniversary show. <laughs> but uh, see, they, they have a new feature on our uh, on-air computer where people can – people can chat with me through the the website so so do you speak text it back or are you no just i was just talking that? to her over the year okay because i'm sure if she's texting she might be listening to so sure could yeah. be i don't know i mean, <laughs> could yeah. be wrong uh. <laughs> but anyway uh what was i saying uh 8 a.m was... Yeah, it was 8 a.m uh i'm standing out in the hallway of me and aaron evans which i didn't really know him that well at the time i just knew you know as general manager of wiley's <laughs> Didn't want to look like an idiot. And uh, finally, about a half hour after my show was supposed to start, we got a hold of somebody that was able to get me into the studio because I never got the, the codes to get in the doors. So so we get in here. We're starting a half an hour late. I can't even remember how to play a song. So we couldn't even take a break. <laughs> we couldn't even take a break. We just had to go the whole time because I couldn't even remember how to play a song. And just stumbling my way through everything, and now, now when I stumble on my way through things, it's completely on purpose, Scotty. I do. I don't even know why. I like you say that with confidence, yeah. and, I, and it's well, believable. As long as you, you say, as long as you say it with comp, com, com, in, in competence. That's yeah. what I usually. Yeah, and, and competency <laughs> is key. Yes, I'm confident in my incompetence. You know, I uh, I was looking at the evolution of my comedy journey so far up to this point, um, from my very first um show that i did at wiley's to where i'm at now and man i'll tell you it is uh 
it's still just as horrible <laughs> as it was then. Now, are you talking about your material or just no, the, material's the gotten whole better. thing as far as the nerves and getting up there? Oh, uh, you know what? I, I don't I don't have nerves. I, go, I honestly feel at home when I'm that vulnerable in front of a bunch huh. of people I don't even know. Um, transparency is actually fairly easy for me. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, can't yeah. explain it. I just wish I was funnier. We all do. <laughs> you're, you're lovable, so you have that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah guess you're, I'll, you're lovable and you're funny, too. I'll, tell, I'll take the sympathy stuff. like, yeah. oh, yeah. that oh, poor bastard. It's okay. <laughs> Some of us like If anything, that. people just feel better about their <laughs> own lives after yeah. they see my comedy. You're like, oh, thank God. Yeah, well, I'm going to be okay. As, as long as you make people feel better. That's, yeah, that's, hey, that's really the goal that's of comedy. Right. Either through laughter or just misery. Misery. Yeah. yeah. Right. One way or another, you make people feel better about themselves, and that's the secret. And that, that's why people go to your shows. And the secret is now out. And the secret is, yep, the secret yep. is now out. Yep. We, we outed Scotty here on the radio. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> that's okay. So, uh, what else is going on? Do you have any shows coming up? That, I do. Uh, um, tomorrow, I'm actually going to be at the dock in Chillicothe. Uh, Lori, oh, one of Lori, Lori Graves. Graves. Yeah. yeah amazing amazing she's, lady she's fantastic yeah. i have not been uh, i've not been able to make it out to uh off. friday night i'll be hosting for uh, the very funny jay armstrong that's right that's yeah right. feature yeah. blake hammond yes. very funny as yeah. well uh that that's at seven thirty, and then uh sunday i will be on sunday comics cool, cool. so um you know i'm uh, i'm gonna push it a little bit harder this year than than i did last year i just want to keep taking the next step forward i want to continue to learn continue to grow and uh you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah, Work's that, going great. You know, that's how you do it. I've heard. Still doing the recovery thing out there, kicking it at Lemire one eight six six four A Detox. By the way. Oh yeah, if it, yeah. we'll <laughs> plug that yeah, about eighty yeah. times. Yeah, I, I remember that from the last time you were yeah. here. We plugged that a time or two. Just, yeah, a, time <laughs> Just or a time or two. Or two that's all. We beat the brakes off of that <laughs> phone number, man. And now I can't remember it. You just said it. Yeah. That's well, it was one eight six six four A Detox. Four A D. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I remember. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll make sure. If you need to remind it again later, that's that's totally okay. cool. Well, I can just drop help. it. Well, you never know who's listening that just tuned in that, that might need that number. Yeah, it's very true. Very true. And if somebody actually stumbled upon this and said, man, I need help, and then all of a sudden there it was. So you stumble upon this as, as in people don't listen to my show on purpose? I think a lot you're... of people listen to your show. They just don't talk about it. <laughs> right, yeah. That's what, what happens on it's the line. Like Justin Bieber fans, yeah, they... you know. They're out there. They just don't talk about it. Man, I just got compared with Justin Bieber. <laughs> I feel good about myself. Are now, you a believer? Scotty. I really do. I uh, I have never been a believer. That's, believer. That's not, a believer, not, maybe. Much I'd prefer believer. the monkeys. To, yeah, uh, I would to, much to rather Bieber. prefer the monkeys. Yeah. Except when Bieber went to jail, I think that was that was that was the best thing he'd done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, he should do that more often. He should start his own show. <laughs> leave it to Bieber. Yeah, leave it to Bieber. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, gee, Warden. Oh, Wally. <laughs> we well, is Canadian, right? Uh, I, I believe, believe so. so. Yeah, and he should return. It, we don't I, need him here. Agreed. But now he's he's pretty much irrelevant now, isn't he? Does anybody is yeah, this the are we the last not, two people? Yeah, we might be it. that are talking we about Justin it. Bieber. We may have just uh, rejuvenated his career yeah. through this conversation. Yeah. Well, you're welcome, uh, Bieber. Justin. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, I, I call him Biebs. Biebs. Just, he's just the Biebs. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like an STD. <laughs> bad case of the Biebs. Yeah, he's got the Bieber GB. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's something wrong with us. We are, have we really run out of stuff to talk about? I don't know. See, Let's I talk about we these gonna... frisbees that were laying in hey, here when well, I showed I, up. They were laying on the floor because apparently we, somebody was playing frisbee in here. And they the were like, show. ooh, hacky sacks, $5. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they ran up, they scurried <laughs> yeah. on upstairs to get $5 Follow hacky Follow the sack. son of Pacholi to get your hacky sack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they said, heck with these frisbees. There are hacky sacks for $5 yeah. up there. Yeah. So they scurried on up to get their hacky sacks and left those here. So I figured I'd just set them on the table and... Uh, if my guests want a ha- uh, uh well hacky sacks are five dollars but if they want to if they yeah, want a frisbee the frisbees are uh, free. take them yeah well i never yours. pass up anything free okay well that's that's good actually the, the, i do have a couple of uh, tickets to wiley sitting Ooh, here on the desk caller in which gets tickets to <laughs> you're assuming we'll get ten dollars <laughs> that's that's aggressive scotty uh, uh first caller or uh, if you're listening and you're listening online, you can you can send a message uh, via the little chat Holly, thing you don't on count. there. Holly, you don't count because we'll let you in anyway, just because we like you. 
<laughs> and and you're one of the local comics, so you pretty much you know have run of the place. Uh, anyway, I think it's time to. Uh, you got some news over there. I, th- I think I have. I think I have some news already. So we're going to go ahead and. Uh, well, no, not news. Not news. We'll uh, let me figure out what I'm doing first because I know you're dying to hear some Potter's Field. Oh, I love me some Potter. How? Okay. <laughs> I really got to advocate for this band that is probably disbanded now. Well, it Potter's Field is a solo project. He's actually with a new band called uh, Black Revenant. But okay. Potter's Field still exists. Every now and then he will get the guys together and uh he I think I think he's been working on another EP for Potter's Field as well amazing. as working on one with Black Revenant. So That'd be amazing. I mean yeah. the, that that sound is just it's it's awesome. Yeah, there you go. We we've, we've we've got a Potter's Field fan. Yeah. Well, and he made it. He made it. He said it was only because of you that I am a fan. But see, it doesn't matter. It's it's people like I. I love music, and you were a channel of that. Yeah. So you know whatever it takes, dude. Got to get got to get it out there. Got to get it out there. So uh, I'm I've got I'm going to key up some uh, queue up queue up key up some uh, Potter's Field so we can get ready to go on that. But uh, seven seven five 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 five. If you want a couple of a uh, couple of tickets to uh, Wiley's comedy show, uh, but first I'm going to hit the comedy rundown. Uh, you can call in during the break or any time, and hopefully, the, hopefully our phones work because <laughs> you never know never know how that's going to happen. Uh, we we've had several times people called in for interviews and couldn't like like that I, we were talking was about, awesome. we were talking about when I did the. Uh, when I did the, uh, the the best of shows, I did four episodes for the podcast of best of shows, and I got all the way done with them, and I forgot that Greg Hahn called in and yelled at me for two minutes or two and a half minutes because the, the phones weren't working. So, <laughs> so we do have that from time to time. But first, I'm going to go ahead and hit the comedy rundown. Here's this week's Comedy Rundown, brought to you by the legendary Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street in Dayton's historic Oregon District. Call 224-JOKE or go to Wiley'sComedy.com for all the best in Dayton comedy. Tuesday, January 16th, Dayton Story Slam is at Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street in the Oregon District. That starts at 7 p.m. Thursday, January 18th, Mark Paul Gregory has an album recording at Dayton Funny Bone at 88 Plum Street at the Green. Friday and Saturday, January 19th and 20th, Donnell Rawlings is at the Dayton Funny Bone at 88 Plum Street. Friday and Saturday, January 19th and 20th, Haywood Banks is at the legendary Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street in the Oregon District. Saturday, January 20th, Bravo presents Stand Up to Violence at MJ's on Jefferson with Lori Graves and many other fine comics. Sunday, January 21st. Wiley Sunday Comics is at Wiley's Comedy Club at 8 p.m. And Mark Paul Gregory's album recording is at the Dayton Funny Bone again. That is it. As always, check out Wiley'sComedy.com and DaytonFunnyBone.com for details and tickets to upcoming shows.
days are made for working, but the weekends, those are made for gaming. Join Ellison Smith every Saturday for a new episode of Saltwater Gaming as he breaks down video games of all different genres, consoles, platforms, and eras. Get a bit of the old and a bit of the new, a bit of the action and a bit of the mystery. Get it all every Saturday on Saltwater Gaming, brought to you by Eventide Entertainment. All right, we're back on the Life Radio Show. I'm your host, Don Smith, sitting in with Scotty Mays. Uh, there, there's there's our, our 1 o'clock guest is here before our other 12 o'clock guest. So. Michael Holder. <laughs> My, yeah, Michael C. Right. He's going to sit in the lobby for now. Good. You sit See, in the lobby and confused. think about what you've done. They're going to get confused because I just told them I was waiting on another guest to come in. Now they're going to see Michael. It's very busy in this hallway It is. Today. It is. There's, well, it's, it's just, class is in session. Everybody's looking yeah, at me like, are you my dad? No, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, but, I'm not but, your dad. But uh, anyway, I want to say congratulations to uh, uh, no one for calling in to win tickets. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can't even give them away. <laughs> we can't even give them away. Hey, Scotty, keep these people entertained. I got to get the door. Well, hey, you know what? Shout out to John Morris, Travis Charles, Kyle Steele, and Aaron Phillips. They are doing this awesome weight loss challenge, and uh, I wish nothing but the best for you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I, I did watch their way in. How was that? Uh, they, they, did, did it they, make did you feel they, better uh, about yourself? No, actually, I think I'm. I think I got them all beat. Even really? Travis, even Travis, which was he was the top. He was the the, the top tier. And I think I think I've I think I got that, beat. Travis because I'm just tipping over three. So. I know I don't look it. I look slim and fit, but you do. You it's look kind a, of it's bulk, all the muscle. Man. It's all the muscle. That's what yeah. it is. I just I bulk up quickly. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is my holiday. The, the winter will do at. that yes. to us. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Joey Tussie just hey. joined us, so you you can get close to that mic. I make sure your levels are right, and you don't. How's that sound? Very soft. Oh, this very, is very soft. soft. Very it's soft. it's I'm, it's like How's you sing along. Voice. No. <laughs> I try to be as sensual as I possibly can. Yes, yes. So, Jay Armstrong, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's Friday, Friday. Yeah, Friday night at Wiley's. We're just yeah, spitballing. Yeah, we, yeah, we're just we're, you we know, don't even whatever know sticks. What uh, the hell we're doing? This is what this show is, where we just sit here and talk about nothing. And you know how Seinfeld had a TV show about nothing. That's is that what he was going is, for? I guess okay. that's what that's what they said. Anyway. I thought it was an instructional video for whining. Well, that too. That 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 was that was that was Costanza's part in it. Yeah, it was just yeah, because he was. Well, I, th- I think a lot of Seinfeld's comedy is kind of an instructional video, <laughs> instructional video for why. It's <laughs> D- unique. Diss and comics. It's on unique. Yeah. yeah, there you go. It's, it's unique. Anyway, Enjoy. You get a frisbee. Yeah, you get a frisbee. I get Some, a frisbee. We, we've uh, we've surmised that somebody's was in here before the show playing frisbee, and then they found out there were five dollar hacky sacks upstairs, so they ditched the frisbees and run off. So I'll still take the free frisbee. Yeah. <laughs> right. Sack. Yeah. It's me. Yeah. But, well, yeah, because it's free. They're slumming it. I'm loving it. That's there you go. Yeah. So uh, welcome to the show. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. How long you been doing uh, stand up comedy? I've been doing stand up comedy for about. Four months. Oh, a newbie. And, uh, like, fresh off the boat newbie. Yeah. Kind of. And um, I got he didn't sp- bring any pizza in. I know, dude. What's no, up with no. that? I'm looking just, at the hat. I like, just started man. this job the other day. I delivered oh, pizza. You're like, oh, this, this is a nice hat. Too early this is the most, pizza from him. Oh, yeah, dude, okay, this is the you. most comfortable hat I've ever worn in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's life. It's soft. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like a wearing a baby seal. It's like a warm pizza. Oh, yeah. Some pizza. Oh, hut. it's bad. Like, who's she taking a picture of? It's hard to say. It's probably me. Yeah, that's. that's <laughs> Make sure you get my good side. It's like, why yeah. the pizza delivery guy on the radio? Yeah. Right? Look, look at this weird guy's haircut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of product to get this hair yeah. to look this good. That, I bet there is. I bet there is because you got to get it to write the right tone up there, the right uh, yeah, color. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's fabulous. I wish I could pull it off. Well, my flat iron's getting ready to take a crap, though. I'm a little concerned. Oh, that's not good. So I'm gonna have to go full mullet. You might, yeah, you might have to do like a uh, a Kickstarter or something. Do a GoFundMe to get a new. Uh, I will do a, a GoFundMe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my birthday's coming up. I'm gonna donate hey, to a charity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Save the Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, four months into comedy. Yeah, four months into it. Um, are you still enjoying it, or are you regretting it? I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's therapy. I mean, 
I used to be in bands growing up and stuff like that, but you know, I was a bass player and nobody gives a crap about the bass player. Uh, the they're, bass they're, gets no love. I don't get none it. at all. None at all. Unless Everybody looks Cliff Burton. They look yeah. at you like that kid in school that has no eyebrows. Like they know something's wrong, but they can't <laughs> put their finger on it. It's like Joe Young. That kid. It's like yeah, he was homeschooled yeah, for six wrong. years and for some reason his parents have sent him here. But uh <laughs> Yeah, I mean I got I got an open mic night invite at the bar I used to work at, and I just ran. And it was all, all downhill I had from five there. minutes, and I forgot every bit of everything that I laid down. I mean, I was in the parking lot writing stuff down. I walk up, and light hit me, and, I mean, the light was so bright, I almost walked off the stage. I couldn't even see the end of the stage, and I was just like, man, I'm doing stand-up comedy for a train right now. Yeah, like, it's that, that first time those lights hit you, it's, oh, it's yeah. nerve-wracking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You just kind of. Oh! <laughs> well, welcome to the dysfunctional family of, exactly. of comedy. Oh yeah. Now you're you're out of Cincy, is it? Uh, of Cincinnati, Cincinnati Fairfield. Oh okay. Yeah, I'm not okay. from Fairfield, but I worked there long enough. It feels like home. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of talent down there. A lot of yeah, talent. Yeah, in Cincinnati. Yeah, a lot, a lot of talent in Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. A lot of talent in Dayton. There too. is a ton of talent. Yeah. There is a plethora of talent in Dayton. So are you sure? You yeah, know you know, let me tell you something. That... I got to be honest right now. I'm going on two weeks with no, without a cigarette. So oh, if, if you want to question, uh, the, I'm not questioning a thing the, you say, the Scotty. Not at, all. not at all. We can uh, <laughs> we can talk about yeah, it. We, we can step outside and talk about it. I, I, yeah, I noticed a little twitching. Yeah, that's that's a hard thing to do. I congratulate you on two weeks because that is. The two weeks is the hardest part, and I tell you, after you get past those two weeks, the rest of it equally hard <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i quit about uh That's about hear, almost man. six years ago and i was i was smoking about three packs a day and i'd been smoking since i was 13 years old it's like the marge shot starter kit oh right yeah there, man. pretty much man i was i was bad you like baseball and, yeah <laughs> you like baseball <laughs> <laughs> Let me but tell yeah, you what was, I don't like. Oh, yeah, like, it, it was rough. That that, that's how I got this this smoky, sexy voice that we all uh, know and love now mm-hmm. on the radio. Because is that why that your was, beard smells like pipe tobacco? <laughs> yes, it, you you know you noticed. Yeah. I, I'm I'm flattered that you noticed. That's that's my He's new beard oil. That's my new beard oil. This smell. is yeah. That's that's, that's what it is. Smell comes that's back what it is. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Oh my gosh! It smells like my grandpa's den in here. <laughs> but yeah, I, this is this is my new beard oil I'm using. This is from Sinful Beard Oils. You can go to uh, uh, Facebook. Sin, Wait, Sinful S Y N F U L. Do you get anything oil. when you plug this Sinful Beard Oil? I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to okay. get because actually, uh, to let you know, that years ago, I I never thought I'd use beard oils because to me, when you use product in your beard, it makes the beard, which is a manly thing, seem less manly. Well, it says something about your mangina too. Right. Exactly. But I have found out that you can pick up sinful beard oils at Angler's Bait and Tackle <laughs> in Englewood, Ohio on Main Street. And if you can pick up your beard product, your hair product at a bait shop at the same place, you can test fire a crossbow and a compound bow and get your fishing license renewed. That's a man for you right there. Pandas. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, actually, I'm trying to work out a deal with them to help promote Wiley's. <laughs> So yeah, this is this is all this is all uh, it's it's all to promote the club. I need eighty pound test string, some arrows. Give me a thing of them wax yeah. worms yeah. and the, and I want hey, my beard to you, smell like a man. You got any of that beard oil? <laughs> I'm gonna rub them off face. I, I thank you for noticing, Scotty, because I actually wore it for you. Well, I can, I'm I trying, can tell. you know, I just, just, I'm sure you did your hair just for the show. Oh, absolutely. So the least I can do is I think try I just to whistled into the microphone. <laughs> I hate when that it's happens. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It happens every now and then, Scotty. Oh, <laughs> oh triggered. Yep. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, do you have any shows coming up that you want to promote, or do you just you just come on for the fun of it? I just really came on for the fun of it i've never been on the radio before and it was on the bucket list and well you have a well, face you off i do you, you my wife said the same radio. thing to me this yeah. morning she, she got said up. you better take them a pizza and you obviously didn't listen to her yeah so. yeah she got up this morning and she was about to put the <sighs> pillow over my face before she went to work i woke up in time and she in time to save like, your own life uh, yeah that's, that's <laughs> i love lucky. how that happens that's lucky and I, I do have to say i think this is the first time i've had two people in the studio at the same time with neck tattoos so hey, it's, hey. they call these everlasting job stoppers yeah, oh yeah I, oh yeah oh yeah i beg to differ 
I absolutely love it. Like yeah. in Cincinnati, in the area we hang out with, it's, it's necessary. It's, it's predominantly an Afro American area, but it's cool because there's people from every walk of life there. But it, it just it never fails. We walk in. Thank you. We walk into uh, one of these little stop and rob gas stations, and you see everybody check for their kids, and then they see. Me walk in with my best friend who's Jamaican. They're like, oh, thank God, you know. Do they know that right <laughs> off the bat that he's Jamaican? You can pretty much tell. Oh, like, really? Isn't lo- that stereotype? Do you remember the so he's Muppet? like stereotypical Rasta. Yeah. Do you remember the Muppet with the dreadlocks that played saxophone? Absolutely. Yeah. That's exactly what Marlon looks like. <laughs> <sighs> I didn't want to awesome. plug his name, but it's too late. Oh, that's oh, okay. Well. That's okay. We we drop all kinds of He's on of Instagram names on at show. Marlon Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, so coming on to promote somebody else. on the, you, You're using your opportunity on radio wisely. To- I just want to burn my friend. That's all I care about. <laughs> well, you might get burned. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm already married. Bring it. Uh, so do we, want, do we want to hit a few news stories? I think we should hit it, some news stories. It's been we need like to three um, weeks. deflect. It's been like three weeks since I've done a and news I kinda story. Because I've just been doing And yeah, I, I kind of want pizza, too. Yeah. Bless You're ruining it. my diet now. That that hat is just. I'm a, hat? Yeah, I do not I'm want to smell the hat. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, if he doesn't want to smell it, he wants to chew on it for a little okay. while. Just, just <laughs> it's suck new, some of the so pizza hut sweat out of that, out of that rip, out of that bill. That's <laughs> and then I'll huff your beard. <laughs> get my cigarette. Yeah. I'm gonna chew on yeah, the hat. Don't huff the, the beard. beard. <laughs> don't light the beard on fire. That wouldn't be good. Uh, I don't even. I don't even know what we have in the news today because a lot of these I, I was. You know, trying to rush to get something together because I, I've been I've been lazy for a couple of weeks. I've what just been isn't doing there, best man? Shows, but. It's got to be the hair. That's all I, I got to say. Oh, somebody else taking a. Well, isn't that a conflict of interest to wear a Michigan fleece at a Wright State University? I think it is. I think it. Well, that's that's, he, that's Ted. He's a conflict hi, of interest in general. How's it going? Oh, okay. no, that's okay. okay. Take all of the ones you want. I'm not. <laughs> I don't have any You're warrants. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That was Ted, by the way. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, <laughs> and now on to news. Uh, another human foot washed ashore near Souk, Canada on Vancouver Island. The 13th foot found in British Columbia in the last decade. Uh, human feet <laughs> have also had a tendency to wash ashore in Washington State. Uh, the most recent foot, with lower leg bones, tibia, and fibula attached, was encountered uh, by a man walking his dogs in the town of Jordan River. Uh, the man picked up the foot and took it home <laughs> before calling police. Uh, for the record, the authorities say if you find a foot on the shore, uh, you should call authorities and they'll retrieve it. No need to hand carry the foot home. Uh, <laughs> hand carry. <laughs> you could just kick it along. Yeah. Uh, you might you might have some questions about why Canadian police would uh, be calmly advising citizens of proper foot spotting procedure. <laughs> Wouldn't you just give it a uh, proper toe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give it a little. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Dude, there's a there's a place Friday uh, that, and that Sunday. You I'll could, be at Wild. Yeah, there's, there's a place. <laughs> there's a place you could turn that toe in. You could actually in Canada. Yeah, in Canada, yeah. we discussed You'd that. Actually, before. drink it. Yes. Yeah. The, That's uh, the, disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Still. Uh, basic, but basically, uh, feet washing up in the Pacific Northwest, while not an everyday occurrence thankfully, is not particularly unusual, let alone a sign of something sinister. And I'm going to stop the article there. That's actually where I stopped. Uh, uh, I didn't stop reading. I went on. But I'm going to leave the rest of it just soak as a mystery as to why feet just randomly <laughs> wash on shore. I blame the Illuminati. They Well, I blame the Illuminati for everything. Okay. I think they're just giving everybody a chance to collect the whole set. Yeah. <laughs> I think somebody's trying that's to get a leg yeah, up on the competition. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. They're ahead by a foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sense of humor they make, they might. I mean, that's a pretty big a step. Little, yeah, too loose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's 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 what it is. Kevin Bacon. It all goes back to it Kevin Bacon. Always and foot goes loose. back to Kevin. He just Bacon. jumped right into the, yep. the the Kevin Bacon circle. Yeah, but right everybody there. cut foot loose. That's what. <laughs> 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 and they all did, and they're washing up. In, on the beaches Somebody of, of said Washington, lucky humans, but you think they hang that from their key ring, like a like a yeah, rabbit's the, foot? Yeah, that would be cool. That'd be a big key ring. It'd be like one of the ones you go to a gas station. They don't want you running off right. the bathroom key. Yeah, <laughs> I think you'd be foot. a little bit yeah. faster with that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. There you go. Like, what's this from? The last guy that took the key. That's exactly. The yeah, yeah. His other foot's probably going to wash up on a beach somewhere. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that, there's so much speculation as to what actually causes that and where they all come from. 
What kind of angle but, do you think you would have to use to skip a foot across a lake? I mean, if they're already well, washing up. If it, if it had the leg bone still attached, it'd be a lot harder. Because if it was just the foot itself, I mean, you got to – the sole's kind of flat. You could, yeah. you could skip that. Especially if well. they're flat footed. Right. Yeah. But they could just be like a like a Frankenstein boomerang. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> with the with the bone with the leg bone still attached, it's just gonna circle back around Assault and hit you in the with head. The Frankenstein yeah. Boomerang. <laughs> yeah. That's that's how the boomerang was invented. These uh, feet started washing up ashore in the uh, in uh, the outback in Australia and this they just Yeah, I'm not buying tossing, that. you know. I'm probably not, not, not probably not. No, that was an aborigine thing. They didn't do that to their feet. Isn't that called an apparition? No, they're real. <laughs> they're real feet <laughs> <kidding>. walking up. <laughs> <laughs> but he was walking his dogs. I wonder what the dogs, they must have gone nuts. Ranson Carr says you have a collection of feet. I do? That this isn't even a new story, that this is just a skeleton in your closet that you have just let out. Speaking of he Ransom, doesn't even know. you know, if, if you show up to the Cry for Help tour Saturday night, he will take his shirt off for you. He's been working out. He's been eating peanut butter and jelly bowls. Um, if he keeps Trust letting, me, you if, want to see that. And I just had a viewer drop off as soon as I said that on my <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. We probably lost a couple of the radio shows. Peanut butter and jelly bowls? That's but no, I, I will say if Ransom keeps letting my secrets out like that, I know where his feet are going to end yep. up. <laughs> Watch your feet. Stitches get stitches. <laughs> like yeah, below the say, knee. Leave them in stitches. There you go. <laughs> I see the chili yeah. trophy still in place. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, Jess hasn't been back. Yeah, well, he just yeah. told me to kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <no. laughs> that's a, yeah, that's always good. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, we're going from uh, ar- archaeologists, Ooh. from finding feet to archaeologists recently unearthed. A curious artifact in California, an Egyptian sphinx. Uh, unlike the great sphinx in, uh, of Giza, the, uh, which is uh, made of bedrock, the sphinx was made of plaster and wasn't carved from by, ancient, by ancient Egyptians, uh, but molded by designers on the set of Cecil B. DeMille's 1923 biblical film, The Ten Commandments. The film, uh, we don't need to go through all that, but after the filming was complete, the 12-story set was too expensive to dismantle and too valuable to leave for rival film studios to pilfer. Uh, in a move just as ambitious as a filmmaking, DeMille, who created the second version of the film in 1956, ordered the set buried at a location unknown to the public. And now archaeologists have found it and probably are wondering. <laughs> it probably took them a while to figure out that the Egyptians weren't here, right. too. Yeah. But I'm sure I'm sure at first they, they tried to get something going. There's, there's probably somebody who was writing a paper about it, and then they thought, eh, it's just a movie set. So that was exciting. Imagine that's, that discovering a Sphinx, and then there's just a Ford Model A next to it. Like, what? Yeah, yeah. They're more advanced than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be better than a sphincter. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, the gra- yeah, plaster the, sphincter the great would be sphincter a problem. sphincter of Giza. <laughs> <laughs> Give Sodom and Gomorrah yeah. a whole new meaning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Moving on. <laughs> Okay, it's, uh, it's not, there's a story from Arkansas. That's that's bound to be a good one. Oh, here uh, we go. Ar- Arkansas prosecutors have dropped their case against James Bates, uh, known as Master Master, <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, whom they whom uh, they had charged with first degree murder, partly with the help of evidence collected by an Amazon Ep- Echo uh, smart speaker. On Wednesday, a circuit court judge ruled uh, uh, granted their request to have the charges of murder and tampering with evidence dismissed. The prosecutors declared. Uh, no, something. Uh, st- they stated that the evidence could support more than one reasonable explanation. Uh, the move marks a curious end to uh, still more curious case, which has revolved around the role played by a personal assistant device that's supposed to begin recording as soon as someone says the word Alexa. In this case, in its presence, <laughs> somebody so Alexa, safe word. Somebody safe word, <laughs> and somebody's getting on murder charges because Alexa ratted them out. <laughs> wow that's, that's why you don't want a lot of self-activating recording devices in your home right you know because they would have caught on to the feet thing a long time ago if they had one of those i won't have one what do you do with this just throw it off the boat <laughs> bam right yep there. yep just like dexter wasn't that the didn't when that he wouldn't mm-hmm. he, he always chucked everything overboard on the boat if you ever watched that show yep yeah because yep. yeah. the current was strong so he thought so he thought. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
I had a buddy that used to come into the bar that used to say, like, I need to quit watching Dexter because I'm starting to feel like I can get away with this. We don't talk anymore. <laughs> but Probably a wise decision to, to not talk to him anymore. And he was an insurance adjuster, so you know he had it in him. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, they're they're heartless anyway. So <laughs> Okay. What else you got, Don? Uh, okay. The much debated phenomenon of man flu may have some basis in fact, according to researchers. A Canadian, a Canadian, of course. A Canadian study was carried out to determine whether men really do experience worse symptoms than women or whether it's just a myth. Dr. Kyle Sue, a, uh, a man with, a, with a, a woman's last name, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, a clinical assistant professor at Memorial University of Newfoundland, uh, suggested men may not be exaggerating symptoms, but have weaker immune responses to viral respiratory viruses. In what is thought to be the first study of its kind, he analyzed relevant research and found evidence that adult men have a higher risk of hospital admi- admission and higher rates of influenza-associated death compared with women, uh, regardless of the under- of underlying diseases. I'm sure man buns and beard oil increase so, yes, those symptoms yes. even more. No, no, no. They they make it, they they help. <laughs> they 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 help stave off the flu because the flu all gets caught in the beard oil and it doesn't actually get ingested ah uh, yeah but see, see that's kind of like uh, now the man bun i can't answer for that you'll have to talk to remember Nick. the nuclear uh the whole nuclear holocaust and hair care yes that. yes you, I you do. weren't yes, supposed to use conditioner because the radiation would set you know yeah but that's the radiation is different than a, than a influenza than virus influenza yeah. virus you yeah. think so oh yeah they're absolutely both pretty gnarly <laughs> well i, I tell you, do some we research test that theory. do some research test them both out and let me know which you, is worse you get trump's tiny hands on that man button and he says you call him chump? <laughs> <laughs> donald chump <That's, laughs> that'll work we, we'll start a twitter war with him is what we'll yeah, do we will. we'll try to get old chump to, to to tweet to the radio show that would be amazing i dare him i dare him because you know he's listening Wouldn't you love to be called it. fake news he won't do it yeah well this yeah i i I think I'd love to be called real news because being called fake, uh, there's nothing new to that. <laughs> no, these are all 100% real stories. Like, uh, Oh, I believe it. Is that why they're written in crayon? Well, yeah. Well, I, I copied them myself. <laughs> okay. And crayon. They weren't originally. You just got to grab what's close. Exactly. Exactly. It's, uh, okay. Th- this guy's nickname. I got to go with this one. I'm going to, I'm going to skip over the uh, fighting over Charlie Manson's uh, personal effects. And I'm going to go to uh, wingsuit pilot. You know the wingsuit. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, the wingsuit pilot Anton uh, <laughs> Squeezer Anderson, <laughs> nicknamed Squeezer, uh, lived up to his nickname with his latest daring stunt. The 23 year old adrenaline junkie from Sweden uh, soared down from the top of a mountain in Switzerland at 155 miles per hour to squeeze himself between two people and rip through a two meter wide piece of paper. He described the sensation as, quote, unreal, dude. Dude. Uh, uh, he's, <laughs> he also said that the speed and proximity to the ground made it feel so fast that it's overwhelming. It also It's also a huge accomplishment to see how precise I could be. Uh, the terrifying thought that he may strike the people holding up the target did, did cross his mind, he said. But with three years of regular wingsuit flying under his belt, he said he has built up a good sense of precision. That's probably the only good sense the man has. It's just precision. I can land my idiot self wherever I want. Oh, man, I'm picturing the actual collision. Oh, yeah, that's the best part, that is picturing been, that. Yeah. Yeah, I wish there was video. <laughs> like be. heads exploding. 155, <laughs> 155 mile an hour head-on-head collision <sighs> in person. And yes. that's where the feet are coming from. That's Blowing the off these guys in Newfoundland, was floating in, down he's to Canada. In Sweden, and the, and the impact was so great that his feet washed up in Canada. This message brought to you by Nike. Just do it. Just do it, idiots. You won't do it? Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Here uh, the he Life goes. Radio Show does not advocate wingsuit flying because that's stupid. Uh. <laughs> Would you try? Would you? How would you just like to have the nickname Squeezer? Squeezer? <laughs> Ooh. That's a, uh, I don't. <laughs> That's a loaded question. Yep, Scotty Squeezer May. <laughs> yeah. How'd you go about earning that name? Yeah, well, some things you just don't talk about anymore. Yeah. I had to wrestle in the late eighties, and yeah. I had to keep myself. Yep. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, if I used to be a smoker, I could have been Weezer. I've been Squeezer and Weezer. It's squeezer and Weezer. Welcome back to the Squeezer and Weezer yeah. show. How'd you get the name Squeezer? Well, funny story about donuts. Yeah. Yep. As soon as I'm famous, it'll come out. <laughs> oh, that ain't right. Okay. Following a complaint by a journalism advocacy age, uh, organization, retail giant Walmart has pulled from its website a T-shirt that appears to encourage lynch, lynching journalists. The shirt reads, Rope Tree Journalist, Some Assembly Required. Uh, Walmart yanked the shirt within a day of receiving a complaint Wednesday from the uh, Radio Television Digital News Association. The clothing was offered for sale by a third-party vendor, Teespring, on the Walmart website. The product, quote, clearly violates our policy. Said a Walmart statement to uh, CBS News, the company is now reviewing all products for sale on its site from Teespring. The shirts have also vanished from the Teespring website. So you missed your opportunity to get <laughs> to get that T-shirt. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, this is uh, it's fake news anyway. I think that was fake news. That, Walmart put that out so they could see themselves as a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm they sure need those some, shirts are still on the show. Oh, I'm sure they yeah. are. Yeah. I'm sure there's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they sold like hotcakes too. Trump's probably wearing one right now. Probably. There's, in fact, he probably created them. That, that's no, that, that, would, that would take thought. That would take a lot of thought. Yeah, yeah. That would that that's would take clever his, uh, clever wit, yeah. and then he would just tweet something about him with that. Yeah. Can you imagine just the shock and awe of running into Donald Trump at Walmart? I don't think it'd be too shocking. I mean, it's <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Uh, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, all you have would, to do is walk into Walmart, and you can see the people that voted for Trump. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, it's shocking sometimes just to walk into Walmart. I, I try not to shop there. So, I mean, but I'm, I'm, I'm broke, so you, sometimes you got to. Sometimes you, you just have to slum it at Walmart. That's where I get half of my material for my stand up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just I love to go to Walmart. Oh, I thought you bought it. There. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, go there third shift well if, 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 if you actually books, if you actually bought your jokes, jokes <laughs> if you actually bought your jokes uh from walmart it'd be hard because they wouldn't translate well from chinese no <laughs> does it well the sense of humor is different in other countries oh seems to be you know because for instance uh my uh it's my my in-laws are indian and they have no sense of humor at all Did they get a free toilet? (laughs) Did they get one of those free toilets? Uh, No, because they missed out on that because they actually live in the States. So they didn't get a Trump dump. They didn't get the Trump (laughs) dump. Nope. (laughs) See, we're just, this is more, this is like another great uh, best of episode of going over news stories. Yeah. Where you're just rehashing all kinds of stories. Yeah. Yeah. Callbacks callbacks left and right. Yeah. And Joey's left in the dark because he doesn't know what's going on. No. What are these guys talking about? Sorry, drop my pen cap. This reminds me a lot Disasters. of my marriage is people talking. I'm yeah, people here. talking. You just sit hey. there in the middle and go. Standing hey. over you with a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put the pillow down, Scotty. You know, you got you to gotta try new things in a relationship to make them work. Homicide just happens to work for me and my wife. Safe hey, word is Alexa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think we got time for, uh, no, nah, we, we're done with news stories. We're just going to go ahead and, and uh, promote whatever shows we got coming up. I know Scotty's going to be at Wiley's. Friday and Sunday. Yeah, Friday. You doing anything Saturday? Just being lazy. Saturday is my two year anniversary of my. That's my sobriety date. So I'm oh, actually. Okay. Um, so you're, you're I'm hanging out with my my kids and my grandkids. Okay. Well, so I, that's 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 allowable. We'll allow it. Well, damn right. <laughs> <laughs> damn right. I mean, but, if you want to oh, celebrate, thank God, like that. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, Friday. You know, Jay Armstrong will be there. Yep, Feature Dave Blake Hammond. Blake Hammond. Um, honored to be a host Hayes. for them. Yeah, that's yeah. that's going to be a lot of fun. And if you haven't seen Jay Armstrong. Ooh, uh, Jay, yeah, Jay's. Uh, I think I was funny. able to get him into the show one time. It's been a couple years ago, though. Man, he's so funny. Yeah. He's funny. Yeah. And tattooed, yeah. too. So it's a, it's yeah. a tattooed show. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Ink Masters. <laughs> yep. And you're going to the Thursday you'll be at the dock? Yeah. And show coffee. coffee. Yes, no, that'll be yeah, that'll be fun. There's year. a lot of funny comics on that one. I'm I feel uh, a little uh, Lori Graves, a little intimidating. Some fantastic shows down there. Yeah, she does. She's she's a great lady too. Very funny. Yeah, great promoter. Do you have anything coming up, Joey, um, or, or any? Do you have any social media you want to put out there, or Twitter, or anything that anything that you do at, regularly? That I'm going to be at the Funny Bone in um, 
Liberty Township in Fairfield on Friday, January 18th. How'd you get on there? I asked and what do I got to do around I here, man? I very Jeez, nicely. Don. <laughs> you got a Valentine's show coming up, and you just said you got the best comics doing that. And I'm like, well, yep, the other I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. <laughs> we'll get you on one. Because, well, like I said, I'm going to try to come up with, I'm going to try to start doing some. Well, I think the last show you want me on is something to do with relationships, man. That's just a train wreck for me. Well, what, that would have been good, though. That would have been. That's how Christopher <laughs> Titus made his money. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, damage. They all kinds of damaged relationships oh, yeah. and that. Uh, okay. Right. Well, do you do you have any? Uh, what's uh, what, what if somebody needs uh, help? What if? So- <laughs> That's <laughs> is funny. There you a asked. number that um, they can call? Actually, yeah, call? I, I work at a uh, rehabilitation center. One eight six six four A detox. That's Lemire Healing Center in Westchester, Ohio. Okay. Seriously. So you didn't throw that out as often as I'm used to. So. Yeah, well, we did the trifecta. Yeah, yeah, we still got it out there. I mean, yeah, we still, we still get. We can do one more. One eight six six four A detox. Yeah, one eight six six four A detox. Yeah, four. What was that letter number, a. Joey? <laughs> yeah, what's your Pizza Hut number, Joey? Yeah, what? Yeah, what, where can speed we go find dial it, number Pizza four. Yeah, <laughs> Speed dial number four. That's yeah. how I got the job. The lady was like, "Why wouldn't I give you the job? You're in here five yeah. times a week." I'm yep, like, you can deliver your own. Thank pizza. you. No. I'm only 162 pounds, but thank you for making me self-conscious about that. Like uh, 162 pounds, man. I haven't seen that since like, grade school. Dude, <laughs> get a hula hoop through a Cheerio, man. That's oh, pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah. I'm British rock star skinny. Yeah, there you go. Hang gliding from a Dorito. I'm trying to bring back the Mick Jagger look. Yeah, there don't you feel go. Like can, can you do the little chicken dance? Yeah, can you do the, can you do the little chicken dance he does? His, he does his. Does I try to practice. And I'm I'm an English major, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm right, on that on note. Bonnets. I can quit anytime I want. Exactly. Oh, All I've right. heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, uh, we're going to go ahead and play. I'm going to play a little Mr. Stone King. Yes. Yeah, because Mr. Stone King, he, he's awesome too. Triggered. Tr- did you say triggered? <laughs> Is that a trigger word for no, Stone King? No, it's not. King? I don't have trigger words except okay. cigarette and pipe beard oil. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I noticed you were a little twitchy when you came. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and uh gonna go ahead and take a little uh actually no, I forgot. I can't I can't play Mr. Stone King. This is this whole other break thing we got now, so I have to take a I have to take a break the legit way or they're gonna or I'm gonna get in trouble. So I'm gonna oh. take a break here. All right. And <laughs> we will be back here shortly. Uh I don't Not know who's coming in. So yeah, yeah. Scott Scotty's heading out. He's got places to be. But uh, congratulations on uh, two years. Hey, congratulations on, on three years. Yeah. I, Happy I, anniversary, man. I think man. yours is more important. <laughs> <laughs> yours is more meaningful than I'm just sitting yeah, here talking about. You've managed. You, you've managed. Uh, yeah, we've, we've A lot better than I, managed, I was able Scotty. to. So. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a little break. We'll be back here shortly. Thanks for listening to The Life Podcast. Check us out on Eventide Entertainment's Podcast Network. Remember, if you want to listen live, we're on Wednesdays from noon to 2 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM, or you can always stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. If you have suggestions or comments for the show, feel free to email us at thelife1069 at gmail.com. Need eighty pound test string, some arrows. Give me a thing of them wax yep. worms yep. and, uh, and I want hey, my beard to smell like a man. You got any of that beard oil? <laughs>